Did you guys know you can actually put your own custom materials on normal makeup and objects like this? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Alright, so once you are in studio, you want to go up here to window, and you want to click on package manager. You're going to want to make sure you're on Unity Registry right here, and then go to the search, and just search up FBX, and now it should pop up with FBX exporter right here, and then click install. Alright, now once you have it installed, you want to click on your makeup object right here, go up here to game object, and now you should have this option right here, export to FBX. Now you can just name your object and you want to click export path or click three dots right here and now just click whatever folder you want it to go into. So I'm just going to put on my download so select folder and now click export. So for some reason dragging and dropping the file into blender will not really work for some reason. So you're going to go to your browser and search up 2fbx and just click on fbx converter. This is usually one I use to click select files. And this is the file, it looks exactly how it looked in Rackham Studio. So you're going to want to click OBJ right here, and then click download, and then it should make it a zip. Open it, minimize this, and just drag and drop the OBJ into Blender. There we go, now we have makeup and object, just delete this inside cube right here. So now this is the makeup and object I have imported. And now from here you could do any like modifications to it, and if you want you could just add the material from here. So now you want to go up here to file export fbx and now just name it whatever you want and click export fbx and now just drag and drop the file into unity so now if you see right here is this should be your makeup and object for me it's literally just a cube so it just looks like a unity cube but if you just drag and drop this into here you should see it right here and i'm pretty sure it is huge so just scale it down and now this is the exact same thing as this it's just this is now an obj and then from here, you could just create a material and put any texture in it you want and you can just recolor it like that. 